Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Manny Pacheco at the Hollywood Heritage. We're here at Cinecon, and of course I represent Celebrating Act Two and Forgotten Hollywood. We're here with Mark Cantor, archivist, historian, and we just saw your Soundies presentation. Welcome, first of all. Thank you very much. This was an absolute pleasure. Well, I can tell you from my perspective as, something who, as someone who's never really experienced the Soundies thing, I felt like what I was watching mostly were like, if it were in a movie, it'd be like the musical interlude. Or if it was a routine, a comedy routine, it was something from the Borscht Belt or Vaudeville. Am I close to correct as to what, what, what I'm describing here? I think so. I think that's accurate. Um, I spoke with Jimmy Roosevelt, who was the, um, the fellow who they brought in at the very beginning in order to uh, lend uh, a name to the enterprise. And what he told me was, you know, the people at the Mills Novelty Company in Chicago, uh, a couple of people here on the West Coast, uh, we were talking, and the idea is... If people were willing to put a, a, a nickel in a jukebox and listen to the music, then they'd probably be willing to put in a dime and not only listen, but watch it. As it turned out, you're, you're entirely correct. The, the finished product in many cases uh, reflects what you'd see in a, in a Universal B musical um, in the 1940s. A short musical performance, high energy, maybe a familiar tune, maybe a new novelty tune, but um, bring on the act, perform, and then we move on with the plot. Come on, Pat, get yourself in the mood. All right. Come on. But there were 
were some names I noticed: Doodles Weaver uh, and, and uh, Louis Jordan. I mean, I mean, some 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 big names did attach themselves to these soundies. Oh, absolutely! And um, just because I only had an hour and a half, I was limited, and I sort of stayed away from the big names. But um, Cab Calloway, Nat King Cole, Gene Krupa, Jimmy Dorsey, the Modern Airs. I mean, I could go on and on. Once upon a time in the land of the Algra, Algra, Algra Fip, there dwelt a little maiden whose name was Arabella. She lived with her grandmother, who was mean and cross and hideous and angry and horrid, but nice, nevertheless nice. They dwelt in a little hovel, two by four by eight by nine by seven and a half. and lots of big, big names. And let's not forget that names that we, um, or, or performances that we watch today where we've never heard of them, they were popular artists on stage back at the time. So we can't assume that because we don't know them today that they weren't known back then. Also mentioned, are any of these? Do they play? Let's say between the movies on M, uh, on Turner Classic Movies, for example. Well, as a matter of fact, um, Kino Lorber is coming out with a series. Um, I'm not sure exactly when, but they are sharing credit with uh, uh, Turner Classic, and so many of them will be shown on Turner Classic uh, as sort of interstitial before uh, the main feature or between features. Now let me let me ask you one more thing. Yeah. Soundies is a really good fit for Cinecon. Why? Well, because Cinecon, uh, the way I see Cinecon, it is just a celebration of film from beginning to end. And one of the marvelous things about Cinecon is that it celebrates every style and approach and um, 
genre that you can imagine. You sit down in the theater and it's a, a B noir followed by a uh, cornball uh, musical followed by a serial, and Soundies just fits into that, uh, that whole concept of celebrating film. And of course, you played it and, and delivered it on a Saturday morning, like many times we would go to see our, those B-movies or those little-known movies as kids. So it, Soundies really fits on a Saturday morning. It works just perfectly. Now, they were very rarely shown uh, theatrically, although they were on occasion. But for me, uh, you know, this has a feeling of 1958 at the Pix Theater in Hollywood. Um, get your popcorn, get your candy, and you sit from 10 to 5. Sounds great. Boys, I, I, I'm feeling a Soundies Film Festival. You know, an all day, like at the New Art Theater. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? It'd be fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Mark Cantor, of course, archivist, and he is a Hollywood historian, presenting a Soundies tribute here at Cinecon. Manny Pacheco for Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act Two at the Hollywood Heritage Museum. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.